Hello everyone, this is Sanket and welcome to the tutorial on molecular docking using Autodock Wiener. Uh, molecular docking is a frequently used method in your structure based drug design. Docking is also very uh, crucial or important when we are considering it for uh, drug discovery studies. Uh, basically what we do in docking is that we search for an appropriate binding of the ligand that fits uh, energetically and geometrically to the protein binding site. So in this case this is your protein binding site. The green one is your ligand. Uh, this is it's zoomed here and the blue ones are nothing but your interacting uh, amino acids. Uh, you can have basically two types of uh, docking. Uh, you can have a protein lichen docking, the one which is shown here, or you can have a protein protein docking. Protein protein docking is uh, we do it when we want to understand how uh, the protein protein interaction takes place in your metabolic pathways or your signaling pathways. So that is where uh, we talk about uh, protein protein docking. But in this case, today we will be looking at how a protein or a ligand docking takes place. Now, for a protein ligand uh, docking to take place, uh, the tools, uh, the, the, the method what we are going to use is called as autodocuina. Now, there are different tools uh, which would be required in order to perform uh, this thing today. One is your autodoc MGL tools. Um, second is Autodoc Wiener and third is Pymol. Pymol is basically a visualization uh, tool. The link for all these three tools is uh, given in the description uh, below. So you can uh, go to the link and download these tools. Now even before we actually start with what exactly how an Autodoc Wiener works, let us first understand these steps uh, basically for uh, Autodoc or for molecular docking in general. First is where you choose your protein ligand and uh, protein target and uh, your ligand molecule. Now your protein target here uh, could be uh, the protein which you can uh, which you have downloaded from any known databases like PDB or a homology model protein. Your ligand molecule can be the ones which are available at different uh, chemical databases like PubChem, DrugBank or uh, these ligand molecules can also be the synthesized uh, ligand molecules which you have synthesized them in your own lab. So after you know what is your protein target and your ligand molecule, next is you carry out the preparation step. So you prepare both the protein and the ligand to carry out the docking. The third step is to select the docking site. Now the docking site in the protein is the region. So uh, this is basically the docking site of the protein uh, where your ligand will actually be binding to it. So the third step is where you prepare this doc, uh, docking site using grid tools which is there in Autodoc Wiener. The fourth step is you carry out the protein ligand docking using any docking tool. In our case, we will be using Autodoc Wiener. There are many other docking tools which are available. You have um, Glide from Strollinger, Gold, uh, FlexX. So there are various uh, docking tools which are present. And last is you generate different ligand poses use, uh, using docking. So these are the five major steps in order to carry out molecular docking. In this uh, video or in this session, we'll be looking at the first three steps. So we'll be uh, choosing protein and lichen. We'll be carrying out protein and lichen preparation and we will be selecting a uh, docking site for the, the protein. So these are the three steps which will be initially performing uh, for the docking. Yeah, so the first step is where we choose the protein. Uh, the protein which you're going to choose right now is uh, human p53 uh, protein. Uh, the p53 protein, you know, it regulates the cell and the functions of the uh, and functions basically as a tumor suppressor. Uh, but when it uh, it becomes defective, it uh, allows um, your abnormal cells to proliferate, and hence it leads to cancer. So uh, this. Uh, P53 protein we are going to download, I've already opened it, uh, from a data uh, a base called as a protein data bank. So I go to download files, uh, click on 
pdb you will see it here then i uh, go for the downloads and in the downloads you will see your uh, forum said i uh, pdb being downloaded now uh, this is your protein now what about the ligand so uh, you go to another database which is your um, ligand database or chemical database in this case it's your pubchem uh, so by the way everyone um, be careful uh, covid 19 request all of you to stay at home and stay safe okay uh, yeah uh, so in in this case we have taken one of an inhibitor which is uh, called as um, Salicyslib. Uh, so Salicyslib is a um, good inhibitor for uh, p53 uh, Salicyslib or uh, Roscovitine uh, basically uh, is a second generation um, CDK inhibitor which uh, leads to the growth arrest and apoptosis of uh, cancer through um, the activation of your p53 genes. So um, it, how to download now Salicyslib is one thing. So you go to downloads here, click on this yeah and now here you have 2d structure and 3d structure so we can save we can click on the save the sda format for the 3d confirmation click on save yeah so we will have okay so we have the protein and the ligand now before we have in move heads let us create a folder okay by name docking okay so we have created a folder uh, name of docking I'll open this folder and what I will do is I will take both these files cut them and paste them here now what I could do is I could just rename this protein a uh, 4mzi as protein okay simplicity and um, I could rename this uh, confirmation as uh, let's say like one okay let's let's name this now um yeah now the next step okay so we have chosen the protein and the ligand so now the uh, next step is uh, basically to prepare the protein and the ligand so for the preparation step uh if you know we what we do is we select this thing called as your autodoc tools or your autodoc mgl tools okay so these are your um, autodoc mgl tool uh, which is present now what we could I'm sorry, we could uh, we go to this docking folder and let's prepare the protein first so we take this protein and we drag and we drop it here okay so we have dragged and dropped our protein Okay. so this is the protein okay now how do you actually carry out protein preparation that is uh, important so in order to carry out protein preparation the first is you go to edit okay and then you delete all the water molecules which is present okay the reason for deleting all the water molecules is if you have water molecules at in your pocket region uh, that could interfere with the docking okay your uh, ligand would not um, uh, easily or comfortably sit in the pocket region because there are water molecules present here so the first step is you delete the water molecule okay the second step is you again go click on edit okay and then you add go to hydrogens and then you add hydrogen so you go to hydrogens then you click on add here yeah so this thing opens and you click on polar so you add polar hydrogens to this now you can see here yeah 100 percent so polar hydrogens has been added to the protein so we deleted the water molecules we added polar hydrogens the next step is where you add charges basically to the protein and in order to add charges we again click on edit and third time we are clicking on edit we go to charges and then there are lots of sets of charges the most frequently or widely used is your Coleman charge so you add Coleman charge so you added the Coleman charge here yeah all right so now your protein is prepared now the next step is basically to save this protein so how do you save the protein is you go to grid and then you go to macromolecule and then you click on choose okay can you see this so this uh, tab opens here okay um, and here you select protein and then you click on select molecule 
So once you do a click on select molecule, it says initializing, it's okay, you click on okay. All right, now you'll have a, yeah, you'll have a tab being open. Okay. Can you see this PDPQT? Yeah, so when we're talking about Autodoc um, uh, tools here, uh, when you're, we're talking about Autodoc Vina, uh, all your um, uh, your protein as well as your ligand is saved, uh, should be saved in a PDBQT format. So basically Autodoc Vina takes uh, your protein and ligand file in the PDBQT format. So the, uh, the PDB is not what it's considered. So we have to save it as a PDBQT and then you click on save. Okay, that one's at zero, okay. So if we go to our docking, yeah, so we can see the PDBQT file being here. Okay, so we have done the preparation of the protein. The next is now to do preparation for the uh, ligand. Um, if we take this ligand, which has been saved in an SDF format, and try uh, dragging and dropping in the autodoc tools, it throws an error that SDF is not recognized. So we need to actually have a uh, ligand file uh, with PDP, like the one which is there in the protein. Now, uh, you remember we had uh, taken the, uh, we had downloaded the PyMol, uh, which is a visualization tool. So we can convert the SDA format of the ligand into PDB using uh, PyMol. Now, um, yeah, so this is your ligand, okay and uh, now we have to uh, convert now we have to convert this file or save this file into pdp so you go to files you then go to export molecule okay then um, in here you can select ligand like one and here you can click it as save so then it will ask you where you want to save. It's in the docking itself. Now I can save this as ligand. Okay. Yeah, that was one of the reasons why I saved this as ligand underscore one because I wanted to save uh, this as a PDB file. So you can drop down, save as type PDB, uh, save. Yeah. So here we have the ligand file for um, the, uh, the PDB file basically for the ligand. Okay, uh, here what I can do is I can just close this. Okay, now uh, currently as of now I wouldn't be needing it. Okay, so um, here is your ligand file. Now I take this ligand file and same drag and drop it into your Autodoc tools. Yeah, so now we have the ligand file here. Now how do you actually carry out uh, protein uh, the ligand preparation step here? So you go to ligand, you click on input, then you go choose, then you have this ligand which is open here. You select ligand and then select molecule for autodoc4. You have the all the charges and the rotatable uh, bonds detected and it founds everything, and then you can click on OK. Yeah, so it has carried out a uh, ligand preparation step. The next step is, uh, as you guessed it, you have to save it as a PDBQT file. So you go to login, you click on output, and then you save it as PDBQT. And once you do that, then you go to um, docking, and then you save it as login.pdbqt. Yeah. So we have the ligand.pdbqt file and the protein.pdbqt file. Uh, that means we have now completed the second step of uh, molecular docking, which is your ligand, uh, which is your uh, protein and ligand preparation. Now let's move to the third step, uh, which is preparing a grid basically for the protein. Now, how do you actually do that? Is uh, we already have a ligand, okay, uh, which is here. Now we take this protein. And then we drag and drop the protein here to auto doctors. Okay, can you see this? So you have the uh, protein here and you have the ligand. If you can see, the ligand is a bit far away from the protein, obviously, because it's not docked. So that's why it is far away uh, from the protein. Now, how do you actually carry out uh, your uh, grid formation or which is the, uh, the third step? Which is your grid. So you have to uh, choose uh, your protein okay for uh, uh, 
the pocket side of the protein for the grid so now how you do that is you click on grid uh, then uh, first of all even before you do that you have to also choose your macromolecule again because uh, for the uh, autodoc because you have already chosen the ligand but we have not chosen the protein so the, there's one thing in autodoc um, uh, vena is or autodoc tools you have to again choose the protein uh, so you have to choose the protein you select molecule and then you uh, know to preserve the charges you can click on no okay initializing you click on okay yeah all right zero atoms has been charges all right fine so um yeah uh, so we have now uh, chosen the uh, protein we don't need to do this for the ligand because uh, we have already done that in the previous step so now we have chosen the ligand and the protein now how to prepare uh, the grid is you click on grid then you click on grid box can you see this you can click on grid box okay once you click on grid box now if you see i'll just maximize it for you um if you can see the a grid box is being created in the center of the protein okay now this is the region where actually the docking is going to take place so if you see this um grid box here okay this is the place where the docking is going to take place so and these are the dimensions okay you have the x dimension y dimension uh, z dimension and the uh, grid box so these are very very important values so now what you have to do is you click on file okay you click on um, output grid dimension file all right so you have a dot txt file being generated you then go to your um, uh, docking uh, folder here and then you say grid dot txt so now we have to save this grid file okay this is of great importance so once you have as you can see here the grid file has been saved if you open the grid file yeah this is the same dimensions okay that's the same dimensions what you see here is saved in this text file uh, this grid file or this uh, grid box is very important um, in the next step what we'll be actually doing okay is because uh, the the ligand will be docking at this very region which is here so basically we did three steps uh, we uh, chose the protein and the ligand we then uh, carried out the protein and the ligand uh, preparation step and uh, the third is where we chose the grid box and we saved the grid files. Uh, in the next we, uh, session, next video, we'll be looking at how the docking is actually done using this grid box.